Welcome friends of Japanese Prince. I'm Dieter and I'm the owner of the Artelino company. And we not only produce videos, we sell Japanese prints in weekly online auctions. In today's video, I want to present a new artist, Yuji Hiratsuka. You see him there in the background. Nice guy, by the way. Uh, actually, for me, he's not really new. Um, I've known him for, oh, I think at least 20 years. But then about some 10 years ago, we lost each other. But now he's back and we received a package of wonderful art prints by him that we will uh, show and offer in the current and in the coming auctions. Um, let me show the two prints that we have in the current auction. Well, this is the first one. You see, well, quite quite out of the ordinary. The title is Suspicious Smell. And another one, um, a little bit smaller in size. Uh, come on. Here we are. Well, the title I don't remember. I think it's a Japanese title. Um, it shows a girl that eats um, a Japanese uh, pastry here in the form of a fish. But you can read the title and everything else on a, a new article that I wrote last night. The art of Yuji Hiratsuka. <clears throat> it's a mix of <clears throat> uh, old traditional ukiyo-e that you can somehow recognize in his designs and modern Western art. And Yuji's art does not fit into any uh, mainstream art movement, not by his style and not by the technique. I will talk about the technique later a little bit. So uh, it's something very special and it's also very extraordinary. Uh, let me talk a little bit about his biography. Yuji Hiratsuka was born in 1954 in Osaka. Um, already at a rather young age, he permanently moved to the USA and today is professor of printmaking at Oregon State University in Portland. Yuji had numerous uh, international awards and solo exhibitions, uh, not only in Japan, but in the US, Canada, Korea, and Northern Ireland. And he has an impressive list of museums that have his art prints in their collections. Well, I, I normally don't read that, yeah? And sometimes can be a little bit uh, long, but this is such a prestigious list that I'm now mentioning at least the most important one. You will be surprised. The British Museum, my friends, Tokyo Central Museum, Cincinnati Art Museum, Cleveland Art Museum, Portland Art Museum, New York Public Library, and finally, the Library of Congress, Library of Congress, my friends, the Smithsonian's Museum of Asian Art in Washington. So really prestigious, prestigious. Yuji's uh, technique, I already mentioned it, is something pretty special. It's a mix of shinkole and etching. And it's basically a, an invention by Yuji. I haven't seen that with any other um, Japanese printmaker. Uh, by the way, uh, the article that I wrote last night, well, there you will find a detailed description um, of his printmaking technique. And I will um, show you the website um, page at the end of this little video. Um, editions by Yuji are usually small. I, I think the first print that I showed you is just, just an edition size of, of 20. And um, as far as I remember, all his prints are signed and numbered and also titled my friends. And now, my friends, I want to discuss with you a little bit the style of Yuji's art creations. I'm not a national English speaker, so a little bit difficult for me. But um, 
I want to use words like witty, original, elaborate, sophisticated, and yes, also intelligent. Intelligent, my friends. Uh, a dealer in Japanese prints, um, whom I know very well, is actually a friend of mine. I once discussed Yuji's art with him, and he expressed his opinion um, in the following. Uh, I, I tried to make a kind of a quotation, of course, not a literal quotation that was many years ago, but he said something like, Yuji Hiratsuka has developed his own art language. It is a world of its own, and probably only the artist himself understands it completely. End of quotation. Ah, what do you think? I think it's a very poignant statement, and it hits the nail on the hammer, no, the hammer on the nail, or, or something like that. I'm not a national speaker, but you know what I, what I mean, my, my friends. I think it requires a, a sensitive, a perceptive, an open, and again, an intelligent mind to fully appreciate Yuji's art creations. Well, I used the word appreciate. I did not say understand. Actually, I personally think uh, I haven't understood Yuji's art yet. Uh, I have to admit that. But I appreciate his art with my heart. Yeah, I like these whimsical figures, my, my friends. They are fantastic. And then comes this enigmatic character of, of Yuji's creations. Well, everything that has a, a mist of a, a mystery uh, over an object or a subject, of course, makes it more interesting, yeah? And that might also be uh, one of the factors why, uh, for persons like me, Yuji's art is so fascinating. Well, um, was this explanation too abstract? Maybe. Let me make an analogy with music. And now, listen well, I want to tell you a story of my own experience with music. Music, yeah? Uh, music and art are not so much um, different from, from, each other, from each other. When I was 18 years old, of course, I liked the music of the Beatles. The Beatles' music, it was easily accessible, yeah? Um, but it took me decades until I was roughly 50 years old to uh, enjoy classical music by such artists, such musicians like Johann Sebastian Bach or Joseph Haydn. And today I still like the Beatles, yeah, but I could not hear them every day. But music by Johann Sebastian Bach, I can always enjoy it. Dot. We've come to the end, my friends, but uh, I want to show you a few more images of Yuji Hiratsuka's artwork. Well, this one, we have it in the current auction. At the beginning, I showed it to you in real. Um, here you have the edition size. It's small, it's only 15. And the title, Suspicious Smell. You see, lady with sunglasses, uh, or some kind of glasses, smells at a flower. Why the smell is suspicious? Don't ask me. It has something to do with the enigmatic character of Yuji's art creations. And here the signature of Yuji, and um, it's even dated 2021, so it's one of Yuji's latest creations. Now, another one. Uh, this is, uh, has a funny title, the bonsaiist, yeah? Lady carrying a bonsai. Well, we don't know more. And a last one. This has also a funny title, The Peacock. Lady, elegant attire, uh, holding a peacock feather in her mouth. Don't ask me why. Yeah. Well, uh, a few words about the prices um, of Yuji Hiratsuka's art prints. Yuji has a steady income as a professor um, in, in Portland. And intentionally, he wants to keep his prices low although he's a worldwide renowned um, artist. So let the common people and also collectors with a limited budget can afford an artwork by uh, Yuji Hiratsuka. 
The reserve for the larger prints, uh, like this one or the first one I showed you before, is US dollar 280. And for the smaller one, US dollar 180. Uh, today is um, February 17th of 2021. The current auction will end coming Sunday, February 21 at 8 p.m. Our local time, which is Central European um, time, we always, nearly always, except around uh, summer saving time, switch six hours ahead of you guys at the US East Coast. Well, uh, this was it. Thanks for watching and I would be pleased to see you in our auction or to see you for our next videos. Thank you. Goodbye.